Let us come before the Lord in prayer. Let us pray. Thank you, Lord, for the gift of your word. Thank you, Lord, for the time to share. And thank you, Lord, for those that we are gathered with, whether we can see them here around us or in your Holy Spirit there, very much with us in this moment, keen on hearing your word, keen on being made ready to share it with others. And Lord, we pray for the sharing of your word here and among all people. We pray for our families, especially if those families haven't been listening, who have stepped away from the gospel, who have sought their own path, who have an agenda and an in and unto themselves or something worse, something that the world has taught them to be that isn't who they are. Lord, we pray for them and their learning and their growth and their seeking for joy that they will be drawn back to you. And Lord, we ask for the words to be a part of that calling. We ask for the example, the steps that we can take to be that, that encouragement unto others. Lord, we pray for the strength and the wisdom that in devotion to your word, we will arise with truth. We will be able to speak Christ and the gospel to all people, that the gospel will truly be in him. And it will be the revelation you call us to offer, echoing the words of prophets and apostles, even of Christ. So, Lord, we pray for those who go forth in ministry and in mission from comfortable places of home and to all the world. But, Lord, we pray also for those who come back home with the experience of life, wherever it is called them to be, to be that witness of your love where, wherever you would place them. Lord, we ask your blessing upon teachers. What a beginning to hope and to life. The lessons of life are, but what a great and wonderful example you have given in so many of our teachers. We pray for them and their work, whether they teach publicly or they are parents re-engaged in home learning. Lord, we pray for teachers and professors in colleges and in universities as they are teaching these young adults to be worldly contributors, yes, but also how to build up families. Lord, how to build one another up in wisdom and to continue the, the work and the care that is teaching unto untold generations. Lord, we pray this day for all those learners, whether they're dawdling along with giant backpacks or with a tablet or notepad underneath their, their arm, they're strolling off to class with a, some kind of refreshment to sit and to, to learn and to be engaged in the deep thoughts and the complicated learning that universities and colleges are. Lord, we pray for those people who've decided that university and colleges are not good enough, that sometimes you have to go out into real life and learn. We pray for those that have just stepped out into the world, that are taking all, their know, all that they know into their own hands, who are taking on the lessons that come from doing the work, Lord, that they can be so foundational to society. They are often our builders. They are often our our laborers, they are often those that make the ways clean and safe. They are often those who get the job done while others contemplate. Lord, we pray for a coming together of all the ways of doing and learning, of working and of resting. That we might, in all we say and do, glorify you and care for this world. Lord, we recognize that we've done a very poor job of caring for this world in the last few generations. We've done what it's taken to pretty well destroy this planet. Lord, help us to admit where we are wrong. Help us to bring healing. Lord, 
give us the miracle of healing that we often seek for our own bodies and bless this earth with renewal. Even though, Lord, we look for the day of your coming when there will be a new heaven and a new earth, Lord, let us not use that as an excuse for abusing the creation you gave us stewardship over. Lord, we pray for healing for people, many people with many different kinds of disease. Yes, we're still struggling with the pandemic and its variants and probably more variants to come. Lord, we pray for those who are suffering from chronic illnesses, especially those that have been difficult to treat in the pandemic and those who are suffering because they do not have access as they normally would have. Lord, we pray for those who are stressed and struggling because their illnesses, their chronic conditions make them more vulnerable to today's conditions. Lord, let us be mindful of the help that we can give, but also the hurt that we can cause and the way that we use this world, and the way that we care and spend time with one another. Lord, let us take it as a challenge in all that we say and do to bring healing to people's lives and hope to people's conditions. Lord, we pray and thanks for those who by their, the gifts that you have given them are those instruments of healing and of hope and strength in our care centers, in our hospitals, and even in our own homes and home care. Lord, we thank you for the workers in all of these facilities who have had such a stressful time in making sure that conditions are safe, that people can go on living, that we face the challenges of today, and that we are able to gather again tomorrow in safety and security and hope and in joy. Lord, as you take us out into the world today, we pray for the lessons that we have learned that we have still to learn, and that we have to offer as we honor Christ in the teaching of the good news that he gave us and the living out of the life that we have in him. O oh Lord, this we pray in Christ Jesus' name. Amen.